for another video. Now in this video, we're going to be learning all the basics of Scratch. So this is also known as a crash course. So what will we be doing in this video? Well, first we'll be learning the basics and then we'll be making a quick game to show that you've actually learned what I've taught in this video. So let's get started right away. So the first thing that you want to do is first go to the website scratch.mit.edu. So once you went to that website, you'll see two different options, join Scratch and sign in. If you haven't created an account, I would highly recommend you so that you could um, recommend you to create an account so that you can save all your progress. Just uh, go through the information that they ask you and then after that you'll see something called create. Let's go ahead and click on this button. This will create a project. And this is this nice background and layout. And let's rename this project to Scratch Project Tutorial. You can name it to something else. And I'll name this Claire. Now let's get coding. So as I said, Scratch is a block-based coding website, which means you draw blocks. So let's start out. Let's start out with the code when click. This is needed whenever um this is needed for every single piece of code that you want to do. So let's start out with the most basic thing that everyone says when you start programming. That is say sorry, that is say hello world. And you can change the number of seconds um according to your uh, mind. So okay. Now we've done that, let's click on this motion section and you'll see all these different types of blocks. So let's go ahead and click go to zero zero. So as you can see, the cat is centered right now. And let's try something out. Let's say change x by 10. So this should make the player move 10 um, to the right. So what if you want to do this more than one time? Well. There is a section called control and you can say repeat 10, change x by 10. So if you do your basic math, you get 10 times 10, which is 100. So basically, your player first goes to 0, 0, then changes x by 100. Yeah, there you go. Now, there is a block called glide. So let's just make the position go like somewhere random. Just click on the scratch cat and move him wherever you want. Now let's just click take this glide button. So now it should glide to that uh, position that you drag, uh, drag the cat to. Let's also say repeat 10, turn 15 degrees. So this should just make the player turn 15 degrees. So as you can see, it just turns 15 degrees. But what you'll notice is when we click on the green flag, it's in a wrong direction. So all you have to do for that is just say point in direction 90. There is a block called point in direction 90 which reset the player. Now let's make a quick game. Or you know what, let's just use this forever loop. So let's say forever if blank then do this code. So as you can see, if you experiment all through this code, you will notice that only these type of blocks can fit in there. So you have to put a condition in there. So let's just draw key blank pressed. Let's say key right arrow pressed and we can just click on this and duplicate it. And let's change it to left arrow key pressed. Now let's do something cool. Let's just say change x by five. Let's say Let's say change x by negative 5. So now we can just move around. So let's make sure that we point the direction to 90. So you can move around and this happens forever. Well, you shouldn't, you could put this in here. Sorry about that. But I would advise you not to because you only want this to happen once, point in direction 90. Now let's try substituting. So let's say, let's create a variable called, or let's just name it change x by blank. And let's click on OK. So let's say, um, let's stop the script and say change x by blank 
by 4. And what we're basically going to be substituting what we just did. So let's say change x by blank by negative 5. So once you've done that, you can basically um, just go to the change x by and you can see then you can click on this variables and say change x by change x. So we're just substituting. Okay, so just put your change x by change x by blank right here. So now you can basically move around like super fast. Let's say negative one and one. That should make it like a bit slower. This is like kind of like velocity from fast to low speed. So now we've done that, let's do something else. So we're, we have basically just substituted. Now let's try something else. Let's try using some of the operation blocks. So let's click on these oper on this operations block and get a if loop. And let's say when click, let's ask a question to the player. So all you have to do for that is, um, wait, where is that block? I can't find it. Um, sorry about that. If, where is the, uh, oh yeah, sorry, here. So let's say when click, ask what's your name. And let's wait. So let's see, and then after that, so basically what happens is if answer, so when after they, after you ask and they answer, so when you click on this, it asks like what's your name and you can click yay and you can click on this tick mark. So let's say if answer and let's go to the operation section and get, get it equal. And let's say if answer equals like awesome bricks one, you can rename this to like um, any, um, like any like whatever username you have or whatever name you want then let's say say hello or say hello so yeah let's try this up and let's make sure our player goes to zero zero so let's say what's your name and let me type um this isn't case sensitive so um you can always put a lowercase a so it doesn't really matter so it's saying hello what about if we wanted to um, say what about if we wanted to say hello awesome bricks one then we would have to use a operator called the join and let's say join um, answer let's um, go back here and drag another answer block join hello answer so that should say hello awesome bricks one if I type in awesome bricks one and as you can see there uh, there's no space here so all you have to do for that is just in the hello statement just put a space and it should be good hello awesome bricks one and if you wanted let's just remove this let's just say after your answer we can just say hello answer so if I say uh, uh, yay it should say hello yay so if you wanted to have like an exclamation mark at then we could just get another join and say join join and join and just put a exclamation mark i just say i don't know so yeah it's saying hello to me i'll just um like be proper and put that so it's saying hello awesome bricks one yay that's cool now we've done enough of um coding and we learned the basics, let's do some art. So as you can see, we have two different sprites right here and you see an X. Let's go ahead and click on X and trash that and let's click on a paint button and let's delete this. Let's rename this to cosplayer. So let's draw our own custom player. So let's click on this square tool and let's click on the shift and draw your, uh, and draw like like basically just click on the shift and draw it. then you should get like a perfect perfect um square so now let's just choose our own color and let's click on this fill button 
and let's click on the square and it should be a square. Now let's draw some eyes. Let's put the outline to like 10 and click on this. Change the um, saturation to zero and here. We have a line. Try to make it as um, straight as you can. And just press Ctrl C and V and you should get a um, perfect duplicate. Okay, now that we've done that, let's click on this reshape tool. Let's have some curved edges. So click on two random points here and click on the middle point twice and you have a curved edge. Let's do this a few more times. And yeah, another pair. So as you can see, this isn't the most perfect, but yeah, it's still pretty good. Okay, yeah, now you can see he's like a pretty curved player. So let's just click on this and let's increase the outline so the outline is bigger. Now let's also make this outline bigger so his eyes are bigger as well. Let's also make it 19. So yeah, they both are 19 and this looks like a perfect clear. Let's just name this costume 1. Let's go back to the code. And let's um, add a meow effect. All we have to do is go to the sounds and play meow until done. Like, hi. Yeah, you can hear that meow sound. <laughs> yeah, now we've done that, let's also just um, do some... Let's do a quick game. In this game, we'll be just include the, including this code. And uh, so let's say, go to the looks section. So we're going to be making a quick game, like a player can move around and there'll be some enemy troops trying to like, um, like kill the player. So let's just, um, say play me out until done and then after that let's just say ask or just say we'll be playing a shooter game we'll let's just say we'll be playing a shooter game for two seconds hi we'll be playing a shooter game and then after that let's go to the um event section and let's broadcast a message Let's name this Start Shooter Game. Now click on this, choose a sprite and click on paint. That's what we want. Where I guess we can just click on the right and click duplicate. And let's call this enemy. And let's change the fill to like something better, like green. Does that look good? Yeah, I guess it does. So now let's make our player there. Let's see one click and after that we broadcast the sh shooter game let's say when I receive the shooter game so what happens when I receive the shooter game let's make our player move left and right so let's say forever if key left arrow and key right arrow pressed key right arrow and key left arrow pressed and if you think my speed is too fast, you can um, lower the speed of the video. There's an option for that. Let's say um, change x by 5. Or I guess 4 is fine. It just like accidentally pressed on the wrong button. Okay, so now you should see um, what's your name. Hi. Wait, what's going on here? Okay, let's just... After we broadcast start game, let's just stop our script so that it doesn't run anymore. This, let's just click stop this script. So this is the only script that... Hmm. 
What's going Oh, sorry about that. I just like forgot. Let's remove all this code. Let's not stop this script. Hello, hi. We'll be playing issue. I'm just removing this. It's just too annoying. Okay, so um, now we can move around. As you can see, it's pretty fun. We can move. Now, when I res let's make this thing hide when we click on the green flag. And let's make it show when I receive when I receive start shooter game show. So as you can see, it shows right there. And let's say repeat ten or repeat repeat um about five. Let's change. Um, let's change y by negative 10. So let's click on this and it should move. Okay, let's say repeat 10 then. And let's make sure we set this to a position when it starts. Let's see, um, let's just drag this and... Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's just make it like repeat 20. And then we're gonna make it hide. Okay. And then uh, we'll just, so this, it will hide after it's done with this. And then let's make this, do this forever. And let's have a wait second so it doesn't like automatically like go there. So wait blank seconds. And the player can move around. So now if we want this to do like go to a random position, we can use the pick random block. So let's put a pick random x. So let's say pick random negative 100, 200. As you can see, it, it um, goes from a random place. Let's do negative 300 to 300. So now we've done that, let's see. So what should happen if we do touch the player. Let's say if touching player if and let's get a touching if touching player then let's just say let's stop all scripts. So that should stop everything. Stop all. If touching clear, stop Hi. Okay, what about let's just say forever if touching clear. Run click forever if touching clear. And let's click on this to make it run. Yeah, so when we touch it, it should stop. And I guess let me um feel watching and if you like this video please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel.